Yes guys, so I'll film what I got up to in the last week and here's what's coming up in today's video. Are Puma's new gaming shoes the perfect football boot? I give the lads a chance to win some prizes with their passing accuracy and we set footballs on fire. So I'm currently at Cam's house and he's got a pretty unreal boot collection. And I want to test him on how well he knows his boots. I'm going to pick one of these boots and you're going to see as you can tell what it is just by the feel of it. Start off easy. Superfly 7. Yeah. <laughs> so <cool>. All right. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is a bit of a wild card. Uh, that is. Oh, what is it? That? That's a Mizuno. Yes. <laughs> well done. Yeah. All right. I'll give you two more. Two more. Please. All right. This one is going to be a tricky one. Oh, is this a New Balance Bizarro? Wow. Is it? Wow. It is. Okay. All right. Final that's one. Fun. I need to pick something that's a bit. Hmm. What should we go for? Okay. <laughs> Go for this. Let me just show the people what it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is. Uh, Puma, the... Puma Future. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my <laughs> dad. Yeah, you've got a great collection, but at least you know your way around yeah. it. <laughs> right. So I think Puma, without even knowing it, may have accidentally created the perfect football boot for freestyle football. Let me explain. So I saw a comment on my latest video telling me to test out Puma's latest gaming shoe. And I had a few questions. Number one, what on earth is a gaming shoe? And number two, why on earth would I be testing out a gaming shoe? But then I saw it. So this is Puma's gaming shoe, and I'm not sure about gaming, but I looked at this and instantly thought, this could be perfect for football freestyle. So I've got to test it out. All of my friends say take right, so let's get these shoes unboxed. That is what they look like. It says on the bottom here, designed to the requirements of gaming. So the main reason I thought these gaming shoes would be so good is because of how similar they look to these, which for me are the best freestyle shoes ever made. Fits like a glove. Let's try these things out for some freestyle then. This is my normal freestyle shoe that also happens to be made by Puma. This weighs 220 grams. And now this gaming shoe that I'm testing out weighs 126, it's half as light. All right, let's see if these $100 socks effectively are going to be as good for freestyle as I think they're going to be. They've also got no laces, obviously, which also helps for control. Honestly, the fact they're so light is really good for freestyle. I can do tricks like that without as much effort because my foot can just move a lot quicker. I think these shoes are definitely better for the really hard trips, the fast movements. The next trick I'm going to try is one that I kind of struggle with wearing normal freestyle shoes because they're a bit heavier. With these on, it should make it a lot easier. There it is. I mean, they are a bit soft, so like, tackles would probably hurt a bit. So, my review of the Puma gaming shoe as a football boot. Is it the best football boot in the world? No, mainly because it's too soft. You're going to get hurt on the pitch. Is it a very good freestyle shoe? Actually, yes, it is. Is it better than Puma's actual freestyle shoe? For certain tricks, yes, it is. And should you use it as a gaming shoe? I have absolutely no idea, but probably not. Yes guys, so I've got a little challenge for you two. As you can see, I've made this track here. We're going to test your passing accuracy. So there's eight different zones. Wherever the ball lands, that's what prize you get. The zones are £10, a forfeit, a mystery prize, nothing, football boots, £20, nothing, and then the hardest zone to land in, £100. What prize are you going for, you? And what you got your eyes on? Uh, definitely the, the boots. The boots. Um, All right, lads, I'm giving you three goes each, one after each other. Who's going rock, paper, scissors, see who goes first. Oh, it's a red ass. Oh. Oh, he's oh, gone. That's good. Oh. 
<laughs> Come on, mate. You gotta give me that. We don't take on the lines, mate. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, he's done it. Fuck. Well. Oh, he's got nothing. He's so close. Ben, your final go. What's he got? He's already got the top prize. Ben's fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, it's in. Fair play. That's close though. That's close. Oh. He's done it. That's the prize you wanted to be fair. Yeah, All yours. <laughs> so, I've just seen something very, very interesting. Over a year ago now, I made a video with Scotty Pollock showing how his FIFA rating compared to his in real life skills. And we found out that basically some of the stats, in my opinion, were a bit low. But that was FIFA 20. Now we're on to FIFA 21 and I've just seen his card. So this is the card we're comparing it to in that video. These are the stats. 51 rated. And now he's a 56 rated. And he's gone 3 up on pace. He's gone 8 up on shooting. 4 up on passing. 5 up on dribbling. He's gone 8 up on defending. And 6 up on physical. And the big thing in that video was Scott's volleys. This is his FIFA 20 card. He had 42 rating for volleys. And now FIFA 21. They've upped it by 12. He's got 54 volleys. And that's his highest stat in the shooting section. That is pretty good going. Now it's my turn, this is a bit crazy. Right, so I've seen a few comments asking me to try out some barefoot football, so that's what we're going to do today. It's actually quite nice, this. Oh. What's curve like with bare feet? Okay, and now for the fun part, let's try out some barefoot shooting. Oh. Woo! Curve. Lovely finish. <laughs>